Welcome to the first development log for Savage Steel. In this video I thought I would cover why I chose the engine that I did, which is car. Now this is where the prototype is currently at, as you can see it's a 2D pixel art game. With car you can make a 3D engine or a 2D engine, and I'm making a 2D engine. And why don't I choose an existing engine? Well, let's first start with what car is. Car is the modern answer to SDL. So, if you don't know what SDL is, this isn't the engine for you. Uh, you should start with a higher level engine like Unity or Unreal or Godot. I've been using Unity uh, for a while and mainly because of the cross platform. Uh, I found I was, because of the way I wanted to do things, I wanted that control and I wasn't even using Unity's high level features like scenes and objects. I was writing my own stuff and it's like, why am I even using Unity at that point? Uh, well, it was mainly just for the cross platform, so now I have an answer, which is car. Um, SDL doesn't have the cross platform support that car does. Uh, car has. Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, that's what I wanted. Uh, I think SDL got Switch recently, but not the others. I haven't caught up with it. Uh, yeah, this has been building to Switch for a while. And uh, there have been games released with this engine. This is a tried and true engine. Uh, this game, CrossCode, was developed with the car technology. They built it once and then deployed it to Steam, Switch, PlayStation. Uh, and you can play the demo right in the web. Now, I did load this before, and it took ten under 10 seconds, okay? It just loaded instantly then because it's cached, but I'm telling you, even when it loaded first time, it was like under 10 seconds. It was very quick. Was, you can optimize it. You can lower the... Tech. Anyway, this is the, the game. This is Shaders. They just made the game, and then they've just deployed to Switch, deployed to web, and this is the game. Sounds, controls, shaders, gameplay. So yeah. Uh, and I'll show you what I did as a little example of what I did with the control I have from car. So I have control over how my pixel art game scales up to fill whatever screen it's running on. Unity had a way of doing this with its pixel camera, but I didn't like how it handled the case where the screen isn't um, an even multiple of your source resolution. So when you're making a pixel art game, you've got your native source resolution, something quite low, and then you scale that up to fill the screen, basically. Uh, but you don't just blindly scale up because if it's not an even multiple of your resolution, you get odd ugly looking effects, artifacts. So my native resolution is 480 by 270 and that's exactly one quarter of 1920 by 1080 so when it scales up you get nice sharp pixels. Um, if it was double 480 by 270 you'd also get sharp pixels but if it's not exactly divisible you get either you get odd, oddly sized pixels and they wobble as things scroll and it looks ugly or if you try to apply filtering to correct that you get very blurry pixels so in this case I've done a technique which I first learned Sonic Mania does this does this uh, where if you find out that the resolution of the target the screen you're rendering to isn't quite an even multiple of your native resolution of your game you render up to the nearest even whole number of that scale so two times or three times whatever just fits and then you copy that buffer and scale it up the rest of the way with filtering applied which applies a slight blur which you might be able to see here uh, which hides the wobbly pixel thing but still kind of keeps them sharp without blurring the hell out of them which is what you get if you just scale straight up with blurring. So yeah, so obviously my brothers are keen for a gaming session so I'll end the video here. Get into car if you want this low level but this flexibility and cross-platform 
this is it. So get rid of SDL. This is the deal. And go and go to Steam and look up uh, Savage Steel and wishlist it. Uh, don't tell anyone these are mock-up screenshots because I haven't finished the game yet. I'll be correcting them with actual screenshots. But it's a four-player local multiplayer uh, arcade action adventure. It's 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 there's no magic. You just swords, arrows, knives, bow staff, different characters to choose from. Four of them, um, and yeah, just really good combat. That's what I'm planning. I just love local multiplayer games. So if you do, hopefully this is your thing too. <clears throat> and it's gonna have be have a roguelike element to it. So you have that comeback, and it's different again and harder still. If you want more challenge, I, I love all that stuff. So if that sounds like your thing, wishlist this. And if you want to hear more game dev, I'll be updating how I'm going with this game. Uh, so subscribe, sign up to the newsletter on my website, demariusgames.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.